David here. I see a lot of interesting ideas for EVs here on the bus. Some have two wheels or three or six. Some are built for speed. Some are made for transporting goods. Some are made for just having fun. What we've got for you here all fall into these categories. They're just a little different than the conventional Tesla car or live wire bike we've come to know and love. With these, someone started by saying, what if, and ran with it. Our first EV on the block is the six wheel drive, fully electric Hyper GT from Texas based hypercar manufacturer, Hennessy. Codenamed Project Deep Space and touted as the world's most expensive electric vehicle, apparently starting at $3 million. This car, which the company plans to start production on in 2026, will be a unique, ultra luxurious Grand Touring car. The passenger cabin will feature diamond shaped seating positions with the driver centrally located, allowing two passengers to sit to the side and slightly back from the driver. The fourth passenger positioned directly behind the driver will occupy a lie flat automotive seat. Fitted with gull wing doors, Project Deep Space will be constructed with an ultra lightweight carbon fiber chassis and body panels. And Hennessy says it is working closely with technology partners like Shell Pennzoil and Delta Cosworth to develop the electrified powertrain. Full specs are yet to be announced, but the company has told us that they plan to cap production at only 105 units, so get your orders in now. Next up is a vehicle that the me of 20 years ago would have killed for if it had been around back then. The Cyberquad ATV. A result of a mashup from Little Red Wagon Maker Radio Flyer and Tesla, this high performance electric ATV is built specifically for kids 8 and older. Radio Flyer's product development team collaborated closely with the Tesla Design Studio to create this one-of-a-kind ATV that features the aggressive styling of Tesla's Cybertruck. The companies say a sturdy steel frame, rugged pneumatic rubber tires, and a rear suspension system provide great off-road performance at a max speed of 10 miles per hour. Little dudes and dudettes can enjoy a padded seat for comfort, a variable speed throttle in both forward and reverse, and LED light bars for the headlight and tail light. Today, the Cyberquad for Kids by Radio Flyer is available for purchase exclusively on the Tesla shop for $1,900. Although, as of the making of this video, it was out of stock. So if you're interested, you might need to set up a back in stock bot of sorts to keep on the lookout for you. Finally, we've come to our last unconventional EV, and it's not one that you or I or anyone else will ever have the pleasure of driving. That's for two reasons. Not only is it autonomous, but it's a rail car. From Parallel Systems, a company full of former SpaceX engineers, comes the idea for an autonomous battery electric rail vehicle built to move freight. The company says the rail vehicles are more flexible than traditional trains because Parallel's platoons do not need to accumulate large quantities of freight to make service economical. This dramatically reduces the waiting times associated with loading trains that are miles long. Parallel's unique architecture will also bypass congested switching yards, which are historically used to manually sort and reassemble freight onto secondary trains. And the company says the system can support service at a range of distances from across a city to across the country. So there you have it. EVs are all about defying convention, going against the norm, and these vehicles take that concept to an entirely new level. We're always reporting stories like these at thebuzzevnews.com, so if this is of interest to you, stop on by sometime. My name's David Sickles, and this is the EV Impact Show. See you next time.